What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to join a Rust server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. Rust is pretty crazy. I mean, you have to survive against all odds. The weather, the animals, even other players. And really, playing with friends is a necessity in this game. You really can't make it alone. So today we're going to cover how to join a Rust server in multiple different ways. The first thing that we're going to need to do when running an Apex server is head to your main page of your panel and stop the server with the red stop button. From here, you're going to scroll down to the game file field. And if you're not already running Rust, you're going to want to hit the search bar and type in Rust. From here, you'll select change version. Then you'll click create new world. And finally, you're going to select restart now. This may take a while, especially if it's your first time running this server mode. So just kick back and relax. Once it's ready, you're ready to move on. To connect through the console, you're first going to want to make sure that you have your Apex panel open and you're going to locate the IP address. You're going to click the copy button on the side of the long numbers there and then you're going to open up Rust through Steam. When you're here, you're going to press F1 and you're going to paste the text by hitting Control V and you're going to see client.connect and then a long IP address. You should be able to just hit enter and you'll be good to go from there. To connect through the server, you're going to need to open up Rust. Then you're going to select the play game button in the menu. You're going to see a wide variety of options to choose from. From here, you can just use the search bar to locate whatever server you want to find. From here, you'll see a long list of whatever servers show up from that search. You'll select the one you want, then you'll just hit join server. To connect through Steam, this one's a bit more difficult. What you're first going to want to do is open up the Steam launcher, and then you're going to go to the top left hand side where you see view. In that drop down bar, you're going to select servers. From here, you're going to locate the favorites tab up at the top, and you're going to then click add a server down at the bottom of that section. You're going to input the server IP that we have previously had from the panel, and you're going to select add this to favorites. Note, this is just the IP, not client connect IP. You should be able to refresh the page and then simply press connect. Any of these methods work, and it should be fairly easy to get in game from here. It just may take a little bit of time to load because this game is massive. Well, gamers. That was a really quick tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out though. Sometimes the simple things can trip up even the most veteran gamers. So hopefully you found that this tutorial helped. From here though, it's all up to you. Go ahead and join a server whichever way you want. That'll just about do it for this one gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.